Well, welcome back to episode four. I spent <laughs> some time cleaning up the cave system, and I also recorded a part of the video. I got about seven minutes in, and then for whatever reason, the recording software I was using decided to not want to continue recording and abruptly cut the video off. So I do apologize uh, <laughs> for not having what is probably not going to be a full video in this. I'm probably going to record 15 minutes at this point because I just played six. But to bring everybody up to speed, I just gathered six diamonds, which is a really good boon for us on the Let's Play series here. Uh, we're doing a little bit of exploration. Um, hopefully we find uh, some kind of... Uh, some kind of spawner system. Uh, Alright, that's not bad. Spawner system would be really nice. Maybe a... Okay. Gotta focus on this lava. Alright, there's a skeleton coming down. Okay. Excellent. Okay, yeah, so if we can find a dungeon or a abandoned mine shaft in here somewhere, that'd be awesome. Because I really, really, really do want the loot, and I really do want the experience farm. We're at 13 now, I've died a couple times, and I'd like to pre preserve myself so I don't keep dying. Okay, that's cool. That's not that cool. Okay. No problem. Keep it going. Keep it going. What's this way? Wow, this place is very cavernous. Ah, oh, lovely. Definitely shouldn't have stood in that blast, but it is what it is. Oh, and now we're not at the end. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. I don't even know where that guy came around from. That's really annoying. I guess over here. Interesting. Okay, well, we're back. Lots of this stuff does loop around quite a bit. There's some lapis up there, no problems. We got some gold over here, beautiful. I uh, don't really have a need for gold just yet, but it is nice to collect. I'm gonna have to do something with rail carts. Uh, string is important because if I am going to make dispensers, I think I do need bows. And bows do require quite a bit of... Quite a bit of string if I'm going to make a whole bunch of them, which I do plan on doing. Uh, just trying to clear up the floor so we can actually traverse. Alright, fantastic. This should be the last one that we need. Correct. Okay, I have no more torches, but we can go over and try to kill that guy. Um, so, probably the first farm I want to build is is going to get the potatoes going. I think that's really important. Uh, and I think then the next thing to do will be to build a staircase down in here. Uh, so that I can bring down animals. So I have a sheep rolling around upstairs that I need to get down here because he hasn't regrown his wool yet. Shoot you. Excellent. So if we get him down here, then I can start breeding some sheep, which will then allow... Uh, ooh, wow, this is cool. Which will then allow me to... 
get more mutton and we can use that as a food source because I'm, I'm very concerned about the food levels that I have right now the fact that I don't have very much food at all is kind of concerning to me but that's okay um, and it'll be a mixture of me setting up the wheats and the potatoes down here as well as me setting up uh, try to get some cows and we're just gonna keep the chickens upstairs because they're kind of finicky and I already set up the breeder, not the breeder, but the uh, egg laying system plus the chest. And I don't really need to get too, too more, too, too much more into the. Oh, wow. You got. What? Wow, that is really unfortunate to be honest. I definitely did not hear that coming at all. So, womp, 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 womp. I don't even know where that guy came from. Uh, if he dropped off from the top, he should have died. But see, look at this guy. Why is this guy spawning here? The light level should be sufficient enough. But apparently it's not. <laughs> uh, anyway. Anyway. So aside from me dying, um, I guess I didn't die in lava. That's kind of, kind of a good thing. Uh, so embarrassing. Dying on camera. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pick a location for the, the farm. And then I'm going to hollow it out. And I think actually what I'm going to do is something that's a little bit different. And it's going to take a little bit more effort. But... That was a really stupid idea. Really not that bright. Okay. I don't know why that was one a one hit kill. Where are you guys coming from? Go oh, now. It's kinda of difficult because I can't see through the darkness. So I assume I'm okay, and then all of a sudden a bow shot comes out of the nowhere. I've died more than once from that already, which is really, really unfortunate and very frustrating. Nothing. Okay. We'll feed the chickens yet again. Cook this. Be useful. So I was actually realizing that I'm running out of wood. So what the the first thing I'm gonna do is sugar canes wood. Do I not have oak leaves? Okay, actually I think I'm gonna build mine out of birch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to where I'm gonna build the wood pavilion. Um, I believe I mentioned I talked about that in the first episode. Quote, well, correct me if I'm wrong. So I'm going to make like an, uh, an area for growing wood as well as aesthetic purposes maybe. <laughs> uh, I do need a lot of wood to get the projects going, of course. Uh, I need to put my sword on my bar. Here we are. Okay. Here we are. Okay, so the auto jumping is literally chunking me out, so I gotta work on fixing all of that. So I do not want to keep bouncing around, of course. But that's good because I need the string, like I said. See, like I, I spend so much of my health bar getting down in here that, like, by the time I actually get stuff done, it's very difficult to sustain that uh I think the direction. Nope. nope, nope, nope. Still trying to learn out the new house, so forgive me for not having it damn pat memorized. Um I am out of town this weekend on a wedding, which is kind of exciting. I 
and looking very much forward to it. Um, so I'm not going to be able to play very much, but I am coming back on Monday, and when I do come back, I'm going to have more time recording because my work contract is up, and while I pursue another contract, I have more free time to play some Minecraft. And that is what I'm going to be doing. So what I'm, gonna, what I'm planning on doing is mining all of this area out. What is that? Mining all of this area out. So it'll be flat down to probably this one. This layer will get mined out. And you'll be able to see in here and in this area will be growing trees. Now I know it's not automated and I know it doesn't have a minecart collector system. But I like growing trees. <laughs> and I definitely want to be able to look at something and uh, have that being aesthetically present is something that I'm very much interested in. So, just gonna go around here and collect, cut out this layer, we'll jet it out, and then I'll go find some dirt real fast, put it together, plant a tree, and we'll see how that goes. I don't really know how high they're going to go. I haven't looked up the tree value. Um, but we're going to carve it out. And I have to come back and do another. That is totally okay. Maybe I'll plant like three or four of them. And then uh, off camera, I'm going to do a bunch of AFK work. So you guys don't have to see all of this. But hollowing some of this out is actually kind of nice. And I'd like the uh, viewers to experience the journey with me while we take care of some of this stuff. Okay, so clean all this up, clean all this up. Okay. Gotta go find some dirt. Again, all this stuff that you have in like the end of the game or like a couple hours into the game after you've done like a bunch of branch mining and all this other stuff. I, I don't have at the moment. So Usually there's dirt floating around here somewhere. Or there's just like too much dirt in my backpack as there is. Oh, yeah, here we are. Shovel time. Okay. All right. This should be sufficient. And then we can take care of the rest of it. All right. <laughs> I could have just went over there. Interesting. Now I know. The more you know, right? Um, so the first uh, tree we'll put right here. Um, I think I need to put water. I think. Nope. Apparently not. <laughs> apparently I don't need any of that. So what I'm going to do is hollow this out. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of a design here. I don't really know anything about design for the most part, so it looks terrible. Or if I can't place blocks, we can figure that out later. So what I'm going to do is when all these birch trees get harvested, I'm going to go turn them into planks and do like patterns with them. Uh, maybe once I start diversifying the trees that I got down here, I can increase the kind of wood I'm using but for the moment we're just going to use dirt blocks um, I'll just fill it in until we get enough and then we can continue this way uh, so the next tree next tree will be here this way that should allow for the trees to not overlap and even if they do it's okay a little bit we can cut them out I just don't want too many gnarled up branches because um, it does take a little bit longer to farm it out but that's okay anyway that's what it looks like and we're going to continue this on that way as well as over a bunch more I'd like to have maybe 30 trees planted um, so you can see them I'm going to build a, a viewing platform over here and then you know various viewing platforms where you can you know, pop it and see them. There's a skeleton over there, as well as a spider. But that's kind of what my plan is going to be. Uh, and then at some point I will possibly at the end of one of the, you know, the end of this chasm or chasm, like right over here. That will be where I ooh ooh. <laughs> 
I will grow the large spruce trees that you find in the, uh, I think the mount biome, or like the, the hilly pine biome, or whatever it's called. Oh, uh -huh. Anyway, kind of get out of here. I am out of food, and I'd like to get back up to the base. But that's kind of what we're doing. Uh, so, once I get the trees going, I can then start to transform the way the base looks, as well as... Yeah, that would be nice. Once we carve out a bunch more so you can see it in deep, like an underground forest. And then once we start carving out more of the rock face, as, that's really annoying. Every single time I walk over that thing, I lose a heart or two. Very, very annoying. Uh, once that happens, we should see a decrease rate in spawn because I will then have torched majority of it up. I'll have active hallways and then... We can start working on what farm is going to go where. And then I'm also going to have to build a staircase down here. So it'll be staircase down, come down, and then here it'll be like a viewing platform. You should be able to see all of the stuff around here. So as we can kind of see now, actually, now that we have a little bit, and hopefully I don't get shot and killed again, um, lots and lots and lots of building space, uh, not to mention the amount of corridors that are present. So maybe uh, this platform here I can build out a bit more so it's kind of like a balcony plus just like an observation deck. And that'll be able to see the entire underground fort and the whole underground base because you know that's what we're all about here. And yeah, fantastic. Still getting used to casting video games uh, while I'm playing them. That's something that is kind of new to me still, so I definitely do notice that I trail off because <laughs> I don't know what to say at a certain point, and then I don't know, and then I just say nothing, and then I realize, oh yeah, the, the, the mic is on. I should keep talking about something, but hopefully it's useful. Uh, so now that we're killing more skeletons, I'm bone-mealing more of this stuff up. So, uh, there we go. In my, in my, the world I was playing previously, I had a really nice skeleton farm, uh, and I really do hope that I can recreate that for everybody. I like the design, I like how it worked, I like the aesthetics of it. Very good, lots and lots of arrows and bones, and lots and lots of useless bows. <laughs> Absolutely useless. True story, absolute useless. Um, but I definitely did not feel like I was privileged when I was building it. And now that I don't have the same amount of resources, I definitely do feel like I should have appreciated what I had a bit more. Um, because, it, you know, it, it is kind of hard when you can't just go and get, like, an entire chest full of bone meal. Um, so, that's some food for thought. I'm going to make some more bread here. 11 is nice. I can put my armor on, which I forgot about. Boom, there we go, armor. Um, bread. Probably need like three loaves. That's the other thing. Like, I'm living off bread, <laughs> but the bread doesn't get all the way up. It's a pretty low choice on the food. So, alright, we'll just keep farming these guys. So, there. So, we're actually starting to get some a pretty good chicken pen which I like and we've also got more wheat uh, so I got more seeds we got seven eggs which is nice we're gonna increase those spawn rates now one all right fair enough so I don't know maybe we got like 15 plus in here now which is really nice and I think this is where I'm going to end the episode. I need to go and start trying to get my stuff packed. i got to work on a little bit more hotel stuff. But I really do appreciate everybody that's taken the opportunity to, to watch this. And as always, we have a comment section down below if you want to see something, you know, give some advice, some pointers. Maybe there's something that I missed that is apparent or there's a trick that I'm not paying attention to. I'm always happy to hear about that. I'm very much down to get better. And I'd really like to say thank you very much. And I'll see you when I get back from my minivacation. Alright guys, cheers.